to see what is uh, happening. The question is, they must have been easy like that. Fireball, like we are here. You can see this is what you Yes, of course. And people must. Therefore, we're saying, because I think we are leader. And what we are basically saying is we demand action, arrests, arrests, without arresting those people. And we have seen some of them are being ferried uh, out of some place, I think, in the country. So that's what I'm asking you, whether those people must have seen them. Yeah. There's no civil, if it's a question of uh, identifying, because even the buses who ferry those people are parked here at the whole And even the vehicles who took possession of those boats and everything, they were captured with the phones, with the cameras, the, the media who are able to come. We can be able to identify. In fact, the uh, guy, one of which is the Canada, who are both. And then other So it is a question of identifying who those people are. Ah, there is very, very easy. Mike, be Please. Kind of violations are happening all over the place. A number of our officials are now being arrested and charged with fictitious charges because of participating in these demonstrations. Some are being charged with anti terrorism acts. It's all, all fictitious. But it all meant or intended to intimidate us. But we will not be deterred. Will not be deterred. Me and my colleagues here, Mazimio, have come here to see firsthand what has happened to this farm. And also to express on behalf of all the other millions of supporters of Mazimio that we stand in solidarity with the owners of this land for what has been what happened here and say that this cannot be, be done in the name of Mau Mau. Mau Mau was a movement for liberation of this country. Mau Mau's never fought against fellow Africans. Mau Mau was supposed to liberate this country from the occupation by colonialists who had grabbed our land. That is what it was intended for. So anybody who claims to be a descendant of Mau Mau must be a, tr a true Kenyan patriot. You cannot be an anarchist. You cannot promote land grabbing and say that you are a descendant of Mau Mau. Shame on you. Shame, Shame, Shame on you. Shame. You are actually ashamed to the history of this country. And we therefore st to attempt this in the strongest terms possible. Mm -hmm. Mimi nilikuwa nasema alikuwa amepangwa na hao watu kwa sababu gani nimesema hivyo hapa hii mimi nashika hii ni hati miliki ardhi ambayo imechapishwa ambayo ilikuwa ipewe kila moja ambaye alikuwa amekuja hapa ili awe sasa ni mtu ambaye anamiliki ardhi hapa hii certificate Haiku chapishwa jana. Walikuja na hii tiari kama imikuwa misha chapishwa. Hilo minaviona hapa. Kipa hapa hawa watu walikuwa ni mbamizi kamili ya ardhi. Na tuna, tuna 
uh, thibitisho ya kwamba walikuwa mpango ilipangwa na bwana Rigadi Gachagwa bwana Kimani Chungwa na ndidi njoro hao ndio watu ambao walikuwa wali ndani ya hii njama ya kuvamia hishamba wao wenyewe kila mara kwa mara wanasema ni watoto wa mama wao labda wanaweza kuwa watoto au watukuu lakini mimi nasema sidhani kama mtoto wa mama wao anaweza kushiriki kwa uvamizi na unyakuzi wa mashamba mama wao ilikuwa ni chama ambao ilikuwa inapigania haki ya wananchi wa Kenya ilikuwa inataka wazungu waondoke wachie wa Kenya nchi yao sio kunyakua ardhi kutoka kwa Afrika wenzao kwa hivyo hii ni aibu sana tena wanaheshimu na wanakashifu jina ya mao mao tunasema shetani Ashimu. shetani Ashimu. tunajua njama yao lakini tunasema kama wanaazimio hao watu hawawezi kututisha kamwe atutatishwa tutazidi kupigania haki ya wakenya tutazidi kupigania mambo ya gharama ya maisha ya wakenya tutazidi kupigania mambo ya uchaguzi ili ukweli ijulikane sababu tumesema tunataka sava zifunguliwe tunataka vile vile mambo ya, ya kuondoa kwa tume ya uchaguzi ifanywe kwa njia ambayo inafaa lakini hayo sasa ni tofauti na haya hapa tumesema ingawaje umefanya hii hii si mwisho tumesema pole kwa wale ambao wameathirika hapa lakini Mungu atakuwa na wao vile vile kule katika industrial area walifanya namna hiyo kwa kiwanda wengine huku chini utaenda huko kesho. Lakini kwa hapa mimi na wenzangu hapa tumesema pole sana kwa wakaji wa hapa. Kwa yale ambayo yalifanyika jana. Shukran. Na familia ambayo imeza kuathirika na labda simu wao ni upi hasa ikiaminika kwamba ni mali ya familia yaliyokuwa rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Sisi hatujangaa na bwana Uhuru Kenyatta. Alijikuja hapa kwa sababu ya bwana Uhuru Kenyatta. Sisi tulipata habari ati shamba ilivamiwa hapa. Na watu walikuja hapa watu karibu watu 500 waliletwa hapa na tuliona kwenye runinga moto kitokitea hapa. Na tukasema tutakuja. Na Uhuru Kinyata hayuko na robi. Lakini eh, tumesema pole kwa kina na jamii yake. Kwa yale ambayo imefanyika hapa. Tumesema kuchukua muda muda hata muda yote kutoka jana asubuhi hadi usiku masaa ya kwenda haiwani hakuna askari alikuwa amefika katika hii maeneo. Sijui kama kuna hisia kwamba kutakuwa na shida hapo baadaye. Tunasema askari hawakukuja. Na askari unajua ni watumishi wa, wa umma, watumishi wa serikali. Kama mkubwa wa serikali ndio anahusika sasa askari hawezi hawezi kuja. Kwenye umbo hajatuma umba ashike mwizi. Sasa umba na kato. Kwa hivyo mimi sitaki hata kulaumu askari. Ana askari wakituma wanakuja. Kwa mfano nasikia leo walikuja. Kwa sababu jamaa waliona aibu ati ulimwengu yote sasa inalalamika. Ndio sasa askari wametuma hapa leo lakini kama ingehai kuwa ni njama imepangwa na makubwa katika serikali jana askari wangekuwa hapa kombani wamekuja wame awange kubali ya hiyo ifanyike lakini vile unasema unajua iko kituo ya, ya polisi hapo ndani ya shamba hii jana hawakukwa na watu huko uliambiwa watoke ni kama ile kiwanda kule ndazo area kituo ya polisi iko kama mita Salasini kutoka pale kulikuwa kuna mtu huko jana. Hiyo yote yalikuwa ni mpango ya hao watu. Lakini tumesema vile nimesema shetani atashindwa. Na labda inspector general wa polisi Jafet Kome ameza kuzungumza na amesema uchunguzi umeanzishwa. Una imani na uchunguzi ambao utafanywa na uh, inspector general? Hiyo ni upuzi. Hiyo ni upuzi na ujinga. 
Eh afikiri wa Kenya ni wajinga sana. Lakini wao ndio walisema tu jinga liisha Kenya. Tu wajinga waliisha Kenya. Sasa an, anataka kudanganya nani? Wa Kenya wote wanajua. Eh, Kenya wote wanajua. Kwa hivyo hiyo hata usinilize hiyo swali. Asante <laughs> sana. Shukrani sana kwa muda wako bila shaka ni kinara na rais Ya <tos> Na tuchokerie gatho ari angi marahitukie tondu ni aige. No tondu na ari afangi ni turakiru mararahiru na baadhi na itero mumitenyire maumite bakazi na kuria kuge na marauma guku marathie. Mauma guku marathie kuhura ma, eh, kibula. Tondu anaki achi no marathie gutwara bara kibula. Na bafangi tuonu anake mararia ruga iyo turaria. Agikuyu wimenyerere i gichono kokire mwere kire kuekera. Gutire mundu uchiari tuwa ni mundu wahorira wahora nire furori weadi ogeka geko ta geke geke ni geko geokora na duara maritia detwe no ona ono mikora na nidai guwa mama geto stage ni huai ni atetu dito kara nidi na ni tu tigiri kora nidi na mikora tono tu dira koma horira kou haria tuwa kinyaniu ni haria hera goche gana ishikata shi gana na muti ge chiri at agikoni amuro di magana matano maki maki ugani ya goko achio mariri yo tanya ma. Na otoria turo oigo kuni kure kutoni turo oigo ni social media. No guo tuero ni ginyaa duwara mwema mchemanyo ini usio. Kwa guo, furori do thiraka na ajirege. Furori o thiraka ohu. Wata kwe chiri ya ni kamu hira kala ikaniri wa haa. We chiri ya we haa hari haa kuinu kamudenya woke na matu kumashi omange. O nae wale ka kuga enough is enough. O kure kira haa haa. Nukai chiri horo no wara ira. Kana no wa mundu uge. Oyo ne wito idhu o the. Wa ikiri ya kura na ota ikiri ya. Digwe chiri ya kwe mudu wa ikage ya uda kura. Moke makari ya migu daeni. Aikono wai kagia makare migu udayere onaye ori omurume. Na tumenyerele ki udugi kikitika akiri ya haa. Na agikoyo area agima. Aikono mmeri homa tigarete. Ukira imo igweke. Tika iguko merele ata igwe ya itama nya kete kura chayumete. Yoi kzelensi kaka neka udugi kuna rizovi anyo ya kongedhani ya nadrikari. Asha. Ona banini. Turuga mete tuwe nyite tiviyo. Na degi uko ka udukangi kamwe. We mogi koyo ratu mwa okado kindo siya mogi koyo leon kitawe. We sokere rea kere. Noro wane borori mogi ma. Ado asuan kio de. Gutero re re roro kere ra atongo ria maro re re roa. O na matego kenu ene ora mare kana go kira meka gatia. Ma kira ga kaiwe wa mude bori koa kogoro na siri gigi re we. Yes, I just want to add on to what our leader said. It is clear to all and sundry, to every Kenyan, and even the international community. Maybe the international community, in terms of the details, not yet. But as uh, Honorable Raila said, this is an obvious act. <coughs> and we want to put it clearly, this is a criminal enterprise organized, perpetrated by those who are in authority and hiring or holding senior positions in this regime it is as obvious and as obvious as that and that is language used elsewhere a criminal enterprise that is what it is thank you thank you a mosque of banks and a church the group of youths who are organized with the intention of creating interreligious and inter-ethnic conflict the Kibra. We've just been there. We did not get all the leaders and we agreed that tomorrow we will visit them again so that we can talk to them. Another thing that happened was this year that this farm was invaded by a group of people 
who were ferried on buses, brought and dropped here. They marched to the farm, they started cutting some trees, and started constructing homes inside here. This around in the evening, they set part of this farm on fire. As you can see, some of those trees which were burned yesterday. Now, this is not something that happened by accident. It was something that was planned uh, for some times. You heard the uh, Mr. Gachagua and uh, Mr. And Mr. Kimani Chongwa and one Mr. Ndindi Joru have been talking proudly that they are sons of Mau Mau and that they are going to start and take over land which was grabbed from the people around this area. So there is no doubt in anybody's mind that this was their plan. And this is something that was planned some time, for some time now. Because as you can see, it was the certificate. This is a certificate of uh, ownership, which is already printed. It is supposed to be given to people who are going to be settled here. They are going to pass along to this land into pieces, and those people are going to be owning land here, this place. But this is a, a criminal enterprise which has been orchestrated by people who claim to be leaders of this country. Now you cannot be a leader of a country and you are perpetrating this kind of land grabbing. Any government must protect individual property. There must be what is called sanctity of title. So that if there's any dispute, there are courts which are there to resolve those disputes. But you do not organize a bunch of, of, of thugs and invade an individual's property uh, 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 in the name of uh, a son or sons of Mau Mau. As we know it, Mau Mau was a liberation movement which was, it was aimed at capturing back land which had been acquired by the settlers who had settled in our country. It was not a movement that was anti-people at all. So these people basically are discrediting the name of a respected institution that played a very important role in the liberation, in the history of liberation of our country. So we condemn this act in the strongest terms possible. Wanton destruction of individual property by agent of the government. It is not an accident that the police was not here. And the information we have is that this land gave uh, a portion of, of, of this land to the police officers to construct a police post. Unfortunately, there was no police officer in sight. Today, after condemnation of what had happened, then today the, at least the Inspector General has spoken uh, about this, but he has spoken in a very vague way, actually pretending that we are not aware. How can they not be aware? They are the ones who said that the, the Kenya was short of stupid people. Today they think all Kenyans are stupid. Very, very unfortunate indeed. You said that this must be condemned in the strongest terms possible by all civilized people and all the people of Kenya. On behalf of the millions of supporters of Ozimiyo Laomoja, one Kenya, we say we condemn the act of wanton destruction of property. Tumesema, jana ilikweni siku ya kusikitisha. Sisi kama wanazimio, tulikuwa tumepeana notisi kwa polisi. Juu ya maandamano yetu, ambayo tunasema tutafanya siku ya jima tatu na siku ya alhamisi. Tulipeana notisi siku tatu, siku tano kabla wakati wa jafika. 
Inspector General and Mkurugenzi Police and the Arifua, Yule Mkurugenzi Police wa Nairobi, wa Nabungei, alipata barua na kila kituo cha polisi hapa Nairobi alipata barua kutokana na maandamano. Lakini baada sisi kupeana notisi bana Inspector General akatangaza ati maandamano yetu ya jana ilikuwa ni marufuku. Asa baadaye wakaanza kufanya vitendo ambayo wa Kenya wengi waliona na ulimwengu yote aliona ya kupeana na sisi kurusha ile nini gesi ya 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 machozi kupiga sisi na, na maji na kadhalika lakini kule kibira walitumwa vijana majambazi wakaingia kule kuleta vurugu alafu baadaye walikuwa nataka kuleta mapigano ya wenyewe kwa wenyewe baina ya wakristo na waislamu wakateketea msikiti na kisha wakateketea uh, kanisa walikuwa wanataka watu vile vile wanza kupigana kwa msingi ya kikabila hapo tumekuwa kibira siku ya leo tumeongea na, na viongozi wa wa, wa msikiti wa islamu viongozi wa, wa, wa kristo walikuwa hawako siku ya leo lakini tumesema pole na tumesema tutakutana nao kesho viongozi wa, wa kristo wa islamu ili kuleta uh, amani na kuunganisha hao na kuwasaidia kwa ujenzi ya yale makali kanisa na yule msikiti ambao ili athirika jana sasa tumekuja kwa shamba hii shamba hii vile vinasema ilizamiwa jana na kikosi ya majambazi ambao walitolewa nje wakaji wa hapa wote wamesema ati wale jamaa walikuja hapa sio wakaji wa hapa ni watu ambao waliletwa hapa na mabasi wakaletwa hapa wakatupwa hapa na walikuwa na vifaa vya kukata miti walikuwa na vifaa ya mashini ya kukata miti ile paso na vile vile walikuwa na mismari na nyundo na kila kitu Madhumuni ilikuwa ni kuanza kujenga na walianza kujenga wakajenga manyumba mengine hapa. Baadaye uh, tufika jioni wakawasha moto. Mbona msitu umetoketea? Hadi miti mingi imeharibiko haribiko na nini na, na moto. Sasa walikuwa jamaa ilikuwa ni kukata miti hapa na kuanza kujenga hapa walikuja tayari wako na hati ya miliki ardhi hii hii si kitu ambayo ingechapishwa jana ambayo inaonyesha kwamba muta mkipewa hii yeye sasa ilikuwa ni shamba yake wanakata kila mmoja anapewa yake anapewa yake hii ni njamba mbaya sana ya unyakuzi mpaka ilaniwe kabisa na wakenya wote Kenya wote serikali inataka ilinde maisha na mali ya kila mkenya. Nikiwa kama mkenya nataka shamba na wiki ni mwenye shamba, anaongea na mwenye shamba. Alafu anakubaliana kama mwenye shamba anataka kuuza, anamuuzia. Lakini kuleta majambazi kuvamia shamba ya mwenyewe hiyo si halali. Hiyo si wezi kwa ni serikali. Lakini tunajua bwana Gachagua na bwana Kimani Ichungwa na mwana nini njoro tayari walikuwa wamesema walikuwa wanajidai na, na kujiringa ringa kusema tu wao ni watoto wa mao mao ati mababa yao walipigania uhuru hapa ati kwa hivyo wao watavamia na watanyakua hiyo shamba ni yao ya wananchi wamesema na hii ni kitendo yao wenyewe hawezi kukanuta haya hiyo ni mtu ambaye anasema yeye ni makamu wa rais wa taifa la Kenya. Aibu kubwa sana. Aibu kubwa sana. Kwa hivyo sisi kama wanaazimio tuko hapa na Mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka, tuko hapa na Martha Karua, tuko hapa na Eugene wa Malwa, Jeremia Kioni, bwana uh, Wycliffe Ambeta Paranya, tuko naye hapa. Uh, 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 Tukumna vile MCA 
kwa hapa eneo hii na tuko bilibili bwana wajakoya sisi zote tumekuja hapa kama wanaazimio na kwa jumla sisi tumelahani kitendo hichi kabisa kabisa mwaambia bwana huru na jamii zake pole kwa ile mbaya imepata nyinyi hii vile mnavyojua hata mimi nilitembelewa huko ndasa leria lakini sitaki ku 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 kulewa kwa kwa ni kalamu yangu msitaki kuongea juu ya mambo yangu, yangu nimeongea hapa tu ili ni itakuwa mambo ya kesho kwa tunasema asanteni wale ambao wamefika masiku ya leo tufurahie vile vile marafiki ya Kenya wa ulimwengu ambao wameongea kwa muda mrefu wamekuwa wamekaa kimya tukiongea lakini tayari sasa wenyewe wamegundua ati wale ambao walikuwa na munga mkono ni adui ya wananchi asanteni sana